Hey pond friends, welcome back to my channel. It's BB Plants here. In today's video, I thought I would take us on a quick plant shopping trip to Whole Foods. I heard from somebody that the Whole Foods in Boulder just got a new shipment in of Costa Farms plants and included in the shipment was Scandapsis True BUI Moonlight. I wanna get my hands on it, so I am gonna go, I think drive to the Denver one and see if they have it there. And if not, I'm gonna drive to Boulder. I'm trying to get one for my older sister because I already got one from Moab and it's kinda on the struggle bus, but she'll make it. Um, but originally when I bought my original Moonlight from the exotic plant set, it was meant for my older sister, but it just like, it never grew as fast and it was so slow growing that I just didn't have the heart to give it to her. So I thought I would make it up several years later <laughs> and get her a big, huge one. So fingers crossed, let's go now because I literally just got the message like five minutes ago. Hey friends, ago. we're at the first Whole Foods. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to multiple Whole Foods today or not, but this is the Whole Foods located in Boulder. It's the one on Pearl Street. So like 28th and Pearl, right in there. That's where we are. So let's go inside and hopefully they'll have the skindapsis. Okay, so we're inside and look what I freaking found. They have it. The internet was not lying to me this time. Oh, I'm so happy. So it looks like they have a ton left. They're a bit um, sad looking, like this wilting, but that's also what happened to the one that I got from Moab. But I think they unpacked this yesterday. That's what um, the person who sent me the picture said. But I don't think it's that bad. Like I wouldn't buy anything with like this type of damage on it because that's cold damage. But other than that, they look pretty freaking good. And for Costa Farms Tropical 6 inch, it is $16.99. They look good, you guys. I might get one of this for my older sister. Last time I was at her house, she had a really nice looking like regular ZZ plant that I gave her. So I'm thinking she might want another one. And they freaking have a ton of them, whoa. I also saw these at Lowe's last time, but they weren't as um, thick as this. Look at that. That is pretty. And it is $16.99. I think with tax it and everything, maybe like eight, seventeen, eighteen dollars. Oh, <gasps> what's this? I feel like this is hard to find. Network Calathea PP0005 Propagation Prohibited. Oh, that's interesting that they put that because that means that it's trademarked, right? And as long as it's trademarked, you can't propagate it. Interesting. Calatheas. Uh, sorry, just skip over all the information. Yeah, that looks nice. I think you were actually able to get this um, during the summertime at Whole Foods. I think I missed it because I didn't really go anywhere during the summer. Oh, it's back, but you can't see anything. They also have Birkins, really nice looking ones, like this one really nice it's so big too that's what she said Ooh, that's not good looks like there's like a what is that is that spider webs or mold on the top so if you guys do buy one of these plants like the tropical ones either from here or anywhere else I would definitely recommend you guys switch up the soil honestly they're not really compatible with like Colorado weather but that one looks good. Ooh, I wonder if my sister wants one of these. They also have the polka dot begonias, which I also saw at Lowe's as well. The only one that I didn't see at Lowe's is the Moonlights, which let's be real, that's the star, right? So if you guys are in Boulder and want to spend dapses, they have a ton. And although it kind of looks sad right now, as long as you take it home and give it like a lot of light, I think it'll be fine. I wouldn't water this when you guys get home because the ones that um, I saw at Moab were kind of moist, so you don't want to have fruit rot, right? 
That's so many. How many should I get? $16.99 for one. See, this one's a good looking one. It's trailing three, four growth, five, one, two, three, four, five growth points. And they have snake plants for $24.99, 10 inch. That's not bad. Ooh, this one's a nice looking one. I don't think it has a name. It's just a snake plant. Sansevieria. They have palms. What is this, like Majesty, Majesty, Majestic Palm? They have Jacinas. Okay, here's a better look of a Birkin. Look at that. How pretty is that? It's pretty large too. Like if I were to get one, should I get one? No, I shouldn't get one. I'd get that one. This one's nice looking. Oh, by the way, can we just like take a moment and appreciate their setup here? I don't know if they built it specifically here. They use like these metal pipes and stuff. Oh, I wish my significant other had like carpentry skills. <laughs> and then over here, they just have aloe and cacti. They have one starfish, starfish, starfish sansevieria. How much is it? So it's $9.99 for the succulent 10 5 inch. That's a pretty good price because it comes with like this pot. Oh, there we go. And it has two in here. And it's the last one, you guys. I will leave it here for the lucky person. Nope, just kidding, I like. They have another one right there. For that cool thing. Is that a samurai one? No name. I feel it's the samurai one because it's pokey. It looks like a top of a pineapple. Orchid mini glass. Those are nice. I can't believe it's so big here. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these for my sister and myself. And I'm also gonna grab a ZZ plant as well. Oh, I can't believe I missed these tiny little guys. Assorted indoor foliage, five inch for $10. And it comes with the terracotta pot. It's a pretty good deal. This looks like an alocasia. I just don't know what type. That looks like a philodendron. Tiny little suck. Oh, is that concrete? Does it have a hole? I don't know. That's such a weird texture or material. This pot's pretty cute. Just black. <laughs> More polka dot begonia. I can't believe I almost missed this. I'm not a begonia type of person because they just die in my environment. Begonia maculata polka dot. So one was $16.99. Two of them was $33.98. Total was $36.99. Pretty cool, not too bad. So now on to the next location. But if you guys are wondering, here's this location. I am cur I'm currently finding parking right now for Whole Foods. We are at or near the Whole Foods in Denver near Union Station. It's the one that's like right next to Coors Field. And there is parking underneath their actual store, but you do have to spend, I believe, $10 or more to get it. And you have to get your ticket validated at the register when you buy something. They'll put like a sticker on your hey guys, So we're inside right now and look what I freaking found. So it's kind of a bit of a trek. It depends on what's where you enter. I think there's two entrance because one if you're entering through the parking garage or there's like the level ground but it's all the way on the other side where all of like the foods and everything are that's $16.99 oh my god they have so many I freaking forgot my wallet in the car of course that's if I wanted to get another one you know sometimes when you just see so many the hoarding is real and this is $16.99 with tax and everything, it comes out to be like 
I think $18. This one's a good one. It looks like it's fresh, fresh too. Oh, this is so lovely. It's easy plants. We got the Birkins, the polka dot begonia, if you're into that. And then they have this girl. Oh, they have so many, you guys. Look. And it's like kind of warmish in this area too, so there's some that look kind of sad. Like if you have yours that end up curling like this after you take it home, just shine like a light on it or put it in like a humidity box with light. It'll perk right back up. Don't water it because it's in kind of a dense soil and I think it was watered before it was delivered. So I would just wait and kind of have it perk back up by just increasing the light and humidity. And it should perk back up for you guys. Look how pretty that is. Oh, seriously. I want to go back to my car and grab my wallet and get one more. <laughs> is that crazy? Cute little box. I can't believe it's here, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna come back and get this one. But then there's more good ones there. Hey friends, I am finally back home and I was gonna show you guys at the store while checking out how many or what I got, but you know, sometimes you just get really excited about things and especially by about plants. Like I've been, <laughs> dreaming of getting more of this for my older sister because i felt so bad like i felt so bad and i actually called her in the store and she's like heck yeah so i got her one which i know she's gonna like this i tried facetiming her but for some reason she wouldn't pick up but these are the ones that i got so um a couple of them kind of have like coal damage like a tad bit coal damage some of the leaves are a tad bit curled as well and these ended up being $16.99 at Whole Foods compared to I believe $14.99 from Kroger slash King Supers and I'm not really surprised about that because Whole Foods do price their stuff a bit higher and of course King Supers does their thing um, it's just a couple dollars more, which I don't think is a big deal. Now, if you guys didn't know, Casa Farms did start selling online, and they do sell their Skindapsis Moonlight on there, and I believe it gets released every Monday. It is currently out of stock right now, and it gets, and it becomes out of stock really quickly because, you know, everyone wants it. Because not every state has gotten the shipment in yet. I'm sure they will. I believe online Costa Farms is charging $50 and that's including shipping and they ship via UPS I believe. So this is what I got. I got three of them. So I got one for myself because I can't help myself you guys. I just couldn't. Like I've had major FOMO. So I bought one for my older sister, one for myself, and then one for my little sister. As you guys can see, the leaves were kind of curled like that, and I believe it's because it got a tad bit too cold. The soil seems okay, and I'm placing it in this bin right here. I'm closing the top, I'm not misting it or anything. And then I'm gonna take this lid right here, close it. Um, okay, or not. Okay, there we go. Close it, and this does not have any holes in it. Then I take this light here, turn it on, and then I'm just gonna leave this overnight so that it just hangs out. So this is the next day. I thought I would come on here and update you guys on how these plants are doing. I left the three plants in this bin that does not have any holes drilled into it. And this is what I call my humidity box. And as you can see, there's some condensation right there and that's fine but this is what they currently look like it looks as though they all perked up i did not water these last night the soil was pretty damped when i got these plants and so i thought that they wouldn't need water for quite some time but they look good you guys there are some brown spots on some of the leaves which i'm assuming is either from like shipping stress or cold but this one looks pretty good. 
yeah so this method works great so if you guys just got a skindapsis moonlight and it kind of looks sad like the leaves are wilted highly recommend you place them in a humidity box or at least place it on the counter and shine the light on it do not water these if you get one with like sopping wet soil i would suggest that you guys take it out of the pot and place it on the counter and leave like a fan on it to help it dry out i also have heard people use like newspaper like placing on newspaper or wrapping it around if you're really desperate i would suggest using like paper towels taken out of its pot, take the paper towel and kind of press up against the side of the soil so that it can absorb any of the moisture and just leave it on the counter, provide it a lot of light. Yeah guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this plant shopping video, a very quick one. And I hope you guys were able to grab one of these because at this price for how big they are, and for like how cold it is in Colorado, the sooner you grab these, the better so that then you decrease the chance of it getting like cold and damaged. And yeah. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye guys.